All right, I did a full kind of walkthrough of, of this kit here, the TAPS panel with the Spirit of Systems TAPS upgrade kit. I'm gonna do a quick one really fast on do I think it's worth it? I talked about that in the other video, but this will be a condensed, not a 25 minute video on, on that, just a couple minutes. So is the kit worth it? What, well, like everything, it depends. A few things to, to consider. Do you think your command will be okay if you're, you know, you're using non-issued components to your TAPS rigs? All commands are different. Some are super strict to where you can wear nothing and use nothing but issued equipment, which is dumb. And thankfully that's not my unit's uh, policy on things. A little more relaxed. Um, but always safe if you're using your your issued equipment. So, one, do you think your uh, your command will let you use it? Okay, yes. All right, cool. Uh, check check number one. Do you want the dangler? Do you really want the dangler to have your your med kit in, or just for additional uh, additional storage space on your kit? Because maybe maybe your unit says you have to use the issued IFAC and it has to go on your left side. That's kind of the the standard placement of the IFAC is is on the shooter's left side. So but if that's not the case and they're cool with it and you want to use that dangler down there, all right cool. Uh, and they're they're fine with that. Awesome. Lastly, um, are you willing to cut off the straps, the Velcro straps for the mag pouches? If, if you are, cool. If it's a something you bought yourself and you're not worried about butchering issued uh, kit, then knock yourself out, man. It, it's yours, you spent the money on it, and you know, do you think? Because the, pa the panel themselves is not all that expensive. If you, you have to use it, maybe you wanna buy your own so you can, you can cut it off, and then when you go to turn in your gear to CIF, you leave your unit, whatever you get out, uh, you can turn it in not to pay for it or you just you cut it off and you pay for it so if you're you're fine with all those things your commands good you want that dangler you're you can wear that thing you really want it for the extra space you're willing to use that uh, or cut those flaps off then cool I think it I think it's worth it um, if not if your commands like absolutely not um, you know you got to wear that IFAC over here and you're not willing to butcher your kit then I would just recommend getting uh, you know buying the Spiritus H harness and a back strap and the the side clips over here uh, the female uh, side release buckles that just clip onto the molly just buy that save yourself some money I think this is these are 50 bucks or just get a, a harness that that you like and you know it's comfortable for you so it doesn't have to be a Spiritus, which just came with kit, obviously, and in a back strap. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably got a handful of chest rigs and different things around the house that you can pull from. So, you know, throw something on there that you like that doesn't stick out. Um, if you're in the Army, I'd recommend, you know, Coyote or Multicam because Coyote is the color of the issued, uh, the wire harness that comes with it. And then, you know, multicam slash OCP, it's close enough that it's not going to stick out and not going to hopefully not going to get you sniped by your your sergeant major. But uh, that's that's kind of that's my two cents on whether it's worth it or not. Um, upgrading the harness, absolutely 100%. I don't care who you are, I would upgrade the harness. Uh, and then just for yourself, based on those things that I mentioned a minute ago, decide whether you want the the whole kit or not. So, all right.